what we most hope to get out of this Congress is to boost the competition policy agenda, because the theme of the Congress is how do you hold corporates to account. And one of the ways to do it is to ensure that there is an effective competition law and policy in countries uh, so that they can put a, uh, a bridle on the corporations. Electricity, for example, we have abuse of dominance because it's all in the state sector, government-owned companies, and they care to to hoots for a consumer. For example, if a bill has been sent to the consumer and the consumer doesn't pay in time, then the connection is disconnected or the line is disconnected. A uh, very large number of campaigns. Let me give you one example only. This was an oil adulteration tragedy at a massive scale. About 2,500 people were affected by adulteration in edible oil. And the state government was very apathetic towards this. This happened in Calcutta in 1988. You were able to bring their case under the Consumer Protection Act uh, before the, the, the top uh, consumer commission in Delhi and were able to get uh, a very large amount of relief for them, including cash compensation, uh, education allowances, uh, uh, try cycles for the affected victims. The victims, after consuming that edible oil, which was adulterated with a, an aviation plasticizer, all the limbs became uh, sort of, uh, 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 the nervous system collapsed, so with the result that all the limbs were uh, out of, uh, I mean, inactive. The one important thing which I wish to tell the delegates to this Congress is to understand the distinction between competition policy and competition law. Both are important things for a country to have. Australia has the best example of a competition policy and a competition law in the place. These terms are not synonymous the way competition or competition competitiveness are not synonymous. So one has to understand these things very clearly. If you do not have a good understanding, then you will not be able to advocate properly either. And what we have seen in the poor countries, I gave the example of Botswana, we started sequencing its competition reforms by having a competition policy, competition audit, and then a competition law.